In this example, we're going to solve this determinant equation. So we have this determinant for this three by three matrix, and we're gonna say it equals zero. And we have this variable A in here, so it's in a couple of places. So let's go ahead and solve for A. So to find this determinant, I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this matrix with all of its terms right here. And what I'm gonna do is use the expansion by diagonals. And I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite these first two columns right next to it. And then I'm gonna do a series of multiplications here. So we're gonna come down the main diagonals here and multiply all these terms. So we'll start by doing that. So two times two times A, that's gonna be four A. And then three times A times negative one is negative three A. And then four times three times zero, well, that's just zero. And then I'm gonna take these minor diagonals here and I'm gonna multiply them, but this time I'm gonna subtract the product. So negative one times two times four is negative eight, but I'm subtracting that, so plus eight. And then zero times, well, that's just zero. And then a times three times three is nine a, but once again, I'm subtracting that. And I'm saying from the original equation that that equals zero. So 4a minus 3a is 1a, minus 9a is negative 8a. And so let's go ahead and subtract 8 from both sides of this equation. We see that negative 8a equals negative 8. And a quick division, and those will cancel, tells us that the value of a is 1. Now that's pretty easy peasy. So what that means is if we put ones in each of these places where we saw the a, when we take this determinant, we will indeed get zero. So for this determinant equation, a equals one.